The Financial Planner, presented by the Bombay Stock Exchange, IPF. Welcome back to the Financial Planner and with me is Jen Pai who's been advising us and taking us through various uh, sort of equity questions about different kind of shares etc. And this time of the segment is about term busters. Term busters are essentially various terms which are commonly used but somehow we do not know what really it means and the term that we are picking up today is market cap or <laughs> market capitalization as we say. What does it mean? Okay, it's simply a product of two things. Mm -hmm. One is the number of equity shares that a company has already issued so far, okay, N multiplied by the current market price. Mm -hmm. For example, if a company has a thousand shares in the market and the current price is say 10 rupees, okay, so the market capitalization will be 10,000 rupees, okay, okay. So, this is the basic definition. There can be certain nuances to this, mm -hmm. like uh, now the, the term in vogue is free float market cap. Okay. So, free float is a very simple thing. It mm -hmm. simply refers to the amount of shares not just issued, but mm -hmm. actually available for trading in the market. Okay. Now, one now very how does that Yeah, one very simple thing is that from the number of shares which are issued, just subtract the promoter holding. Okay. So, for example, out of 1000 shares, if a promoter holds 500 shares, so only 500 shares are available in the market. To be traded? Yes. And that's what free float market cap would Right. So, the uh, free float market cap always is lower than the, uh, the, Overall the market headline cap. market cap. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So, in this case 500 into 10. So, 5000 will be the free float, 10,000 will be the market cap. So, when we talk about you know you see headlines in the newspaper, the market cap of X company fallen down hmm. by about 20 percent <laughs> or yeah. 50 percent. Okay. Uh, first question, so what it really means is that the share price has really gone. Hmm. So, what the market cap was has fallen down Yes. and therefore it means really bad for the company. Is that so? Yeah, I mean since all of us like higher prices, so lower price is bad in that sense. Uh, but these falls in market cap may be for a variety of reasons okay. and uh, there are uh, some investors would actually treat this as a point of entry mm -hmm. rather than exit, mm -hmm. especially if the price has fallen for some absurd reason. Well, Jant, on that <laughs> note, uh, we'll have to end the show because we've really <laughs> run out of time and thank you so much for advising Thanks, our please. viewers with regard to various <laughs> issues that we discussed today on this show. Well, we've come to the end of this show. We'll be back and we'll be talking more and guiding you more. So, be keep watching Financial Planner.